also, uh, another thing I want to say is this. Um, you know, when uh, Muhammad said, uh, in, 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 uh, I think in Quran or in one of his hadiths, uh, Muhammad said, oh, no, 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 Jesus never died. It looked like Jesus was crucified, but actually God took him and took him into, God took him and then put him in a second heaven, okay? Yeah, based on Muhammad. God took him and put placed him in the second heaven. So Jesus was never crucified on the cross, although people thought that he was crucified on the cross. God took him and put him in the, in the second heaven. But one day, he is going to reappear. I think what this means is this, okay? I think Muhammad still is talking about the door of the rock. The, the, you know what the reason is? Because what is the second heaven, okay? You know, God is... God is living in the first heaven, okay? God is living in the real heaven, which is the first heaven. So what's the second heaven? The second heaven must be the temple mount. It must be the temple mount. The reason is because that's like the closest thing uh, to God, you know, that we can find in this world. You know, if it, it re, Muhammad himself said, you know, no living, no living soul can see God. Okay, you, you can only see, you cannot see God in this world. So basically, God is in the real heaven. The second heaven must be the Temple Mount. You know, because that's like, that's like God's house. You know, God's house should be built on the Temple Mount. So that's like the second heaven of God. It must be the Temple Mount. So basically, God took Jesus and placed him on the the second heaven. That must mean the Temple Mount. So it must be Don the Rock. You know? And um, I heard that there's another prophecy. Uh, one day, uh, Muhammad had a dream. Gabriel took, took uh, Muhammad. In, in Muhammad's dream, Gabriel took Muhammad and then took him to the, the, the Jerusalem, took him to to, to Jerusalem, the Temple Mount, okay? Now, in his dream, they're, he and Gabriel, they're, they're standing on top of the Temple Mount, right? And then he saw, he saw a horse, a white horse called Barak, okay? And so basically, Gabriel said, ride that horse. And then so Muhammad hopped on that horse, and then that, that white horse took Muhammad up. Seven levels of heaven, seven levels of heaven. And then on the top level of heaven, God spoke to Muhammad and said, Oh, okay, my son, this is what you wanted, okay? This Barak, this white horse, he is going to glorify you. This is what you wanted. This is where you wanted to be. I think this prophecy means that at the end, okay, it doesn't matter if you're a Jew or a Christian or a, Islam, uh, or a Muslim. You will, you will realize that Muhammad's prophecies are 100% accurate. He is the last prophet. At first, I see, I'm a Jew, you know, and I'm not supposed to believe in uh, Muhammad's prophecies or the, the revelation of the New Testament. I'm not supposed to, supposed to believe in all that. But I'm a very, very open-minded person. I'm not, I'm not prejudiced, you know. Although, I mean, I still believe that you could be a prophet even if you're not a Jew, you know. So... I have to say this. I, I think Muhammad. I think what this prophecy means that after Barack Obama appeared, and when after he rules seven years, you know, people will realize that Muhammad's prophecies are one hundred percent accurate, and he is the last prophet. I think that's what it means. I think I think that's what the, the dream means. When God told Muhammad, you know, you will be glorified. You will be satisfied. This is what you wanted. I think at the end of this uh, Obama seven years rule, people will realize Muhammad is, is the last prophet. His Jesus, the Isa, appeared. You know, it's the dome, the rock. Appeared when Obama is in power. Why, why did Isa, uh, why, oh yeah, another thing is, why did Muhammad say uh, Isa will appear at a Christian community and he will be found sleeping? sleeping there. You know, he will be found sleeping at a Christian community. The reason is because the Dome of the Rock has already it, Dome, the Dome of the Rock was built like a thousand years ago, you know? But nobody realized that this Isa, this Jesus prophecy is actually 
talking about the dope the rock. Right now, we only discovered, okay, after people saw this video, okay, people realize that the Muslims will realize it, the, the Christians will realize it, that the Jews will realize, oh my God, that's Jesus, Dolan Rock, that's Jesus, you know, we found Jesus, and he's sleeping there. For a thousand years, Jesus was sleeping. The Jesus, Jesus was sleeping on the, on the top of the Temple Mount. Nobody knew that's the Islamic Jesus. Now you know, okay? That's, the Dome of the Rock is actually the, the Islamic Jesus. He was found sleeping there. So, so basically, I think this video will be spread. I think the Christians will actually see this video first. And it, it, it will slowly be spread to the Jews and the Muslims, and they, they all know. But anyway, so basically, it's, I, th I have more respect for uh, Muhammad now. Really, I really do have more respect for that guy now. That guy's, prophe that guy's prophecy is, is like this, man. It's 100% accurate. And uh, so basically, if, if his prophecies are to come true, he said, after Jesus reappeared, he will live for 40 years. You know, and and after that, he will be uh, he will be buried uh, alongside with uh, Muhammad. Basically, they will take him to uh, uh, Medina. They will take him to Medina and bury Jesus uh, right beside Muhammad's grave. So I think maybe what it means, what this means, is that 40 years later, the the third temple will be built. The stone of the rock will be torn down, and then the, so the Jews can build the third temple, and then. Maybe a part of the a part of the stone of the rock will be moved to uh, Medina to be buried alongside with the Muhammad's grave. Maybe I think maybe that's what it means. So if basically four years later the dome of the rock still exists, then uh, uh, Muhammad's prophecy will will fail. His prophecies will not come true. Well, you decide. I don't know. That's what I think. Have a nice day.